All right, we are now urban plagues, which means we have four places to go and things to do. Sure, let's just do this one and see what we've got. Book of Young Me. So this might be part of his same group. Really? Ah, again. I don't know. I'm hoping for more cards. What? Whoa, what, what are these? What are these? The carnival. Oh, so. They had mentioned them. I, I remember hearing about the car carnival. Like somebody had mentioned them along the way, but I know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Taste of sweepers never cease to surprise. Always disgusting in new ways. Never realized there could be so many flavors of filth. Reminded of taste of fixer we ate. Was soft, was happy. Hard to eat, but tasty. Produced good silk. Was satisfied. Oh, is that the silk that they're weaving? These kind of weird red threads? Yeah, it might be. Oh, hmm. an alpha. I don't know. Do you want me to do it? Uh, yeah. Must feed on sweepers for another week. Because we must spin more silk. Index gave such prescript. What if mother of sweepers move before we finish? We hunt and feast. Must weave cloth. No, wondered if we have plans once sweepers start retaliation. If they all seriously try to eat us. We must have limits. Sweepers are quiet for now. Reasons unknown. Index has its gaze on us. We only make fabric as a pre as prescript pointed. No other prescript from Index. None. No need for worry. Index is good friend. They don't seem to be too convinced of their own orders or no. what's... Huh. Index Messenger. Yan. Hello, everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Messenger. Greetings. Yes, thanks for the greetings. I'm here to give you guys a new prescript. Head to library. Have another paper with you. This is no prescript. You're right. This is an invitation to the library. It's needed to according to the prescript. Must go to library? We must eat sweepers and weave fabric. Can we eat messenger? Will be tasty. Would produce good silk. No. I'm afraid not. You guys must obey the prescripts, remember? You want to continue your silk making business, no? If you don't follow your prescripts, the proxies will visit you. Prescript come first for us. If we break order, prescript will not forgive. Hmm. Perhaps library have new ingredient to make new silk with. Since I'm done delivering the prescript, I'll be on my way. I'm sure you guys are already aware, but don't forget what happens if you fail to carry out any prescript. Are they? Maybe I should make them a... I, I don't know. They seem dead inside as well. Actually, maybe all these people do. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Sorry to interrupt, but we're here to retrieve our fabric. Hello there. It's the Kuro oh, Kurokumo. Really? Kurokumo clan. A thumb subsidiary, right? Greetings, Kurokumo clan. Oh, Sai was probably... The person behind? Maybe. We'll take the Nuovo fabric requested by the thumb. The payment is in that briefcase. Oh. A Seo again. Oh no, she's Seo. Oh, she's Seo. So then who's Gin? So he okay. He is Gin. Okay. Yep. Either way, I'm certain a finger bow bell is about to begin, and this is a rather frivolous behavior from the index. What should we do, Dame? 
He may be a simple messenger, but he's still an executive member of the Index. It'll be difficult to take him on our own. It is a valuable opportunity nonetheless, especially since the messenger is alone right now. Sure. All I do is to- Wait, I they seem a little blasé, oddly enough. They do the whole, like, sure, or mm -hmm. see you later. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. They, it almost seems as though they have to be deadpan. Yep. Sure. All I do is deliver word from above. The index is the same as Wait, always. Who's Yang? Wait, Yang is a someone off screen. Another dude, yeah. The index is this, is the same as always. Hmm. Now then, why don't we go our ways if we're all done with this business here? The carnival can visit the library. We can take our fabric and Mr. Messenger. Oh, Mr. Messenger. Yeah. So, uh, probably a small boy then? Maybe. I don't know. Probably has places to be. Is that an organization producing fabric? Yep, quality fabric is a rarity. Tailors are just as important as syndicates and fixers. Those guys seem to be operating underground. Looks like they're eating people who make silk. Ow. Yep. Like, silk is made from the thread of silk worms, yep. right? But they, I guess they've been modified to act as silkworms of a sort. Is it a weird thing where they're tearing apart proteins or whatever is involved? Maybe. To... I don't know. Well, how does silk... Silk doesn't decay, though. But... It can be eaten by things like moths and stuff, but I'm trying to think of what part of a human you could make into silk. I don't want to think about it. I think and... it has to be at the chemical level. Yeah. I think also... This this whole game is not written with reality in mind. I think it's written with how screwed up can we make a thing mm -hmm. to fit our screwed up universe? What's so special about it? Isn't it just the same old piece of cloth? Nuh uh. That's not your ordinary textile, ma'am. You still have a lot to learn. There's a good reason of a lot of hot uh there's a good reason a lot of hotshots in the city are dressed in normal normal looking attire and not plate armor. You've probably seen it from some guests, but those aren't just regular clothes. A high-quality fabric can provide just as much protection as an augmentation procedure. Not even money could buy the top-of-the-line fabrics sometimes. Some can only be earned by joining memberships of workshops or tailors. Some things in the world are entangled in a complex web of interests. Like fame and stuff, which can't be cleared with money alone. I'm starting to feel dazed from all of this information. Well, that's enough of that. Why don't we close our eyes for a moment and make a wish? And you aren't helping at all. We gotta pray that the precepts er, prescripts don't target the library. Okay. I can close my eyes and make a wish. Uh, are you actually playing along? I wish for you to stop babbling nonsense. Huh. Anyway, things could get real messy once a prescript points at the library. The index, one of the five fingers, is going to be after us. They'll do anything to keep coming out, coming for our asses. I'm, unfortunately, when I'm thinking of index, I'm just thinking of a pointer finger. Well, pointing. that's the point. I know it, it's the point. Yep. Of the pointer finger. Yep. But the index. That's one of the five giant syndicates that rule over the back streets. They're called as such because they literally have all the back streets on in their hands. It's simple, really. Anyway. I so hmm. with I'm trying to think of different expressions related to each. So under your thumb, usually it's a crushing motion, right? Yeah. So I would assume that that would be pretty heavy hitting. The yeah. index would be accusatory. Commanding. The middle finger middle is just finger. rude. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes them. They're not even that powerful. Just no one wants to deal with them because they just suck. Maybe the ring finger could be about bonds or relationships or something. But then what would the pinky do? They're they're just the goon. I, I don't know. The minions. Anyway, the five fingers have enough power and influence to rival the wings, so nothing good will come out of opposing them. And the index is like a group of zealots. They obsess over orders they call prescripts. For them, prescripts are... Something they must follow. Oh, why am I so yelling today? Ah. <laughs> yep, prescripts must day. be carried out. Yeah, I guess it's probably the air pressure. It's making me really stuffy. And it's going to be potentially snowing tomorrow? Fucking <laughs> weather. I know, it's been 60 degrees around here. Yeah, it was like Insane. 60, 70, 60, 
like a couple days and now it's dropping down to snow. Sucks. Yep, prescripts must be carried out as they say. Well, actually, like the weather has been nice, but it's not normal. Yeah, it's not for freaky winter. and scary. So actually the snow should be normal, but the fact that it is not the norm and it is the one day drop that then goes back up to the 60s. Is worrying, yeah. Yep. We have a subsidiary of the thumb butting in too. I just hope things don't escalate too much. Whoever may visit, we simply do our best to receive them. Hungry. Want. Can spin new kind of thread. Excited. Greetings, guests. I, I just want to add a little <laughs> bit of a question mark. Like She knows what and who they are. They just witness them talking, but... Yep. Uh, don't bleed on the floor. I, I, actually, they're not the ones bleeding. They're no. the ones just covered in blood. Yep. But are those tentacles coming out of a mouth? Yeah, it might and be. And it uses those claws to stab people and then feed it into the mouth? Yep. And then that one is just, it looks like its spine has opened up or its rib cage. It's rib cage. Yeah, and then it, uh? Yeah. Greetings. 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 Okay to eat? Could produce wonderful silk. We'll make pretty blue silk. Seems she would taste even worse than sweepers. True, does not seem human. Want to eat something tasty now? Tired of disgusting food. Ah. I'm Angela, director and librarian. May you find your book. Sorry. Such short greeting. So insincere, too. Disappeared. Okay, so week two, slashing. Week two, slashing. Week two, slashing. Sounds like it is... Oh, they all have the same model. Crew. I thought they were going to be different. That is a shame, yeah. They have such good illustrations. But I think they're all the same class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Allies died, gained two strength at the end of each scene. Okay, and they do a lot of piercing and some amount of blunt. It would have been nice if they have different masks, at least. I think. Yeah. I would have been nice if they were open. Oh, that's a four cost. On hit, three bleed next scene. Fascinating fabric to each other's hands. Huh. Ooh, creepy. I'm just going to wing it. We'll see what happens. Reduce unnecessary action. Race against time. Look tasty. Thought not human. Wonder how you taste. Look solid, but delicious. <laughs> uh, our, nicer, our equipment was nicer back then, to be fair. There was some ridiculous stuff. They missed having ego equipment. Mm. Okay, so... Time to possibly beat these things up, maybe. So, four to six, fascinating fabric to each other's hands. Now, she's only got three. I guess we can do a gut harvesting and a then probably get in trouble. Oh, well, I guess I could interrupt is the answer. Take that one back, because I can probably interrupt this one. Five to seven, three to four, one to seven. They've got some... Big numbers here, which is a worry. So I wonder if that means there's like a delta, an epsilon, a sigma, an omega. You know? Mm hmm. There might be. I don't know how much we're going to be fighting the car carnival here. Mm hmm. Okay. On hit. Stagger damage, two to five. So this one's actually pretty easy to overcome. It's the second one. Otherwise, I could go kind of hard on them. It's kind of amusing that they're called the carnival. I mean, they do have the masks, so they kind of do seem as though they're not quite clownish, but carnival being like carne meat... It makes me wonder what the vol means. Hmm. Is it a 
Sometimes it means a house, doesn't it? Yeah. But we also have festival. You know, thinking about the entomo etymology of words. Yeah. So it's an event. So why would they call it a meat event? Uh. Because fest, you have festivities. Carn, carnet, yeah. I mean, I can theorize why they would want to do that. Hmm? Well, why they'd want to call it Meat Festival. Well, I mean, I do admit, whenever you go to carnivals, aren't there a lot of meat stands? Yeah. Okay. It really doesn't refer to the... Maybe because the performances are by people? They wouldn't refer to people as meat. I... do. Uh, I hope not. Hmm. Slash dice gain power. Take th two to five stagger damage when the slash attack does not connect. Ooh. It also wouldn't derive from carnage, would it? Um, not sure. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so there, ooh, wow, hi. This is rude. So doing a five, four to six, and then actually kind of weak. Numbers wise. Yeah, I'm just trying to six to ten. Ouch. Figure out how festivities potentially have roots in gore and meat. Oh, fascinating fabric. Hmm. Oh, they were giving those to me. What does the fascinating fabric do? Uh, it's a good defensive die. Only three of this page can be held at once. Eight and eight, like, heck and dodge and some other things. So, like, it's actually a really good card. Why are they giving it to us, though? I don't know. But let's see if I can interrupt them with a fascinating I hope fabric. it doesn't have a hidden use or ability. Probably not. Let's see. Ooh. Don't want to do that, screw it. Unless every time you get a hit, you tear fabric off of their bodies and can use it to defend yourself. Maybe. Ah, uh, now they're take, opening there up. There we go. Yeah, it's when they get hit, then they open up. Or when they throw an attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm doing weirdly well for all of this, though, which I'm kind of surprised by. Okay. Do I do gut harvesting or do I just rampage on them? Uh, probably just rampage. And then an overpower. That one's almost dead. I guess what does she have is the answer. Cooking prep, prep. I don't know, try and finish them off. And then what do you have? What are they swinging with? Barely any damage. On hit deals stagger damage. So we want to win the second clash. That can work. Uh, I guess I could just do a rampage. We seem to have plenty of die. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah, so it's when you attack that they split into different forms. That's cool. Did not taste too good. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Might get bruised bad if not careful. One of us defeated must think of way. Okay. It's bleed teams just duking it out. Mm hmm. Which is kind of funny. But yeah, now they're stronger, which is a bit of a worry. 
Oh, do they thrive off of blood? And all your abilities are blood related for the most part. Oh no. So you can do look of the day, but I don't like that one. Block die, gain extra power, deal extra stagger damage on the deflect or allure. So this is a taunt. Mm -hmm. Gain power and clashes. You know what? I'm going to do a glitter. I'll put it on her. Okay. So what this does is they will do more damage, but only if they actually hit. But I gain extra stats against them. Let's see. We also have an overpower. Screw it. Let's just wail on them. Uh, let's see. Gut harvesting, appetite, and then more overpower. I think I think we've got them completely under wraps at this point. Yep, pretty much. Yep, there they go. Cannot be have unfinished work. Must be cautious and I get in serious trouble. I like how I think our characters are apologizing to them. Not weave cloth anymore? And they're like, huh. Yep. Well, they might also well, I don't know. I don't actually know if those are gonna be that helpful. Um uh, Exhausted, tired, want rest, hungry, want out. Wait, are they mimicking them? Might be. Want amputated? Bones melt. Flesh explode? Won't die. Sorry, ma'am. I'll stop here. So, what do you think will happen next? Looking at how things are going, we're pretty much guaranteed to confront at least one of the fingers. We've already heard of the heard the thumb and the index. Any one of them is going to be a huge pain in the ass. I look forward to it. Oh, of course you do. I'm the one doing all the fighting and bleeding for you. Wander, you're being a little quippy. You Sorry. start talking the instant I stop. Fine, 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 fine. I know this goes without saying, but I am thankful for what you do. Sure you are, ma'am. In any case, let's give it our best shot. Okay, so I guess we might as well burn those books. There was an interesting comment I had read the other day about you talking faster and faster. Yeah. Do you find yourself doing that? Like over the course of a video or? Yeah, especially when you're doing one alone. Um, I could see it. It, I think it depends on how awake I am as part of it. Mm. If I'm sleepy, I'm probably less likely. Or if I'm sleepy, I might be like more out of it. I don't know. Okay. Well, do we want to follow up on the teeth? Look at Ol Olga and the molar office. Ah, so the molars. And then we'll go check out the other ones in a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Okay, these are new. Dalek. They look like a bunch of cameras and lenses. Yeah. In a pink jacket? Straight jacket. You can see the buckles hanging down. Kind of, but their yeah. arms are, are no, definitely... No, you're right. I don't know. Maybe it's just and kind of... And they have these little bows, too? Confirm the Muller office boarding the train. You made sure to attach the observation device on them? Mm-hmm. Bono. How's the observation going? Dalek's helping me out, but it isn't easy. I hope we can find some leads at least. I know, but it's a bit late to ask this. But are you sure this job's a trusty one? How many times should I say that we can get 200 million on right away through untraceable route? Through an untraceable route. It's a deal offered by Kane Office, so we can't possibly trust this. I don't trust like that. Pay is the problem here. Pay isn't the problem here, sorry. If we get caught trying to uncover the secrets of a singularity, we're done for. No insurance will protect us. <coughs> I understand that you're scared because our corp has W Corp's back, but we aren't going to quit here, are we? We wouldn't be here if we could. The warp train is departing in five minutes. Seriously, I'm not feeling this. Does it even make sense that we can track the cause and effect of everything with some weird observation device we sneaked onto them? 
I, I think they're people that once again sold their bodies off, so we yeah. might not want Heavy to give them too robotic a voice, but it's, yeah. it's odd. Especially when they're using contractions. Yeah. You notice how it's the it. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to make them sound fully... Well, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. They're not robots. They wouldn't talk like robots. It's the device Kane office gave us. They said it's invaluable, with only a few copies of it in the city. And we verified its performance ourselves. I'm still going to keep his voice in the weird low key. Yeah, yeah. I know this city has all kinds of bizarre technology, but I still doubt anything can be this convenient. Hey, the train's heading off. Okay, we just need to wait 10 seconds now. Nine, eight, the causality, whatever recording device is working for now. Seven, wait, something's not right. Oh, they were waiting at the other end of the train that had the Olga group. I don't... Were they or were they just watching the train depart? Oh. They're at the station. Oh, they're... Oh, they're... De oh, they're missing. Yeah, They're missing. We can't observe them anymore. Gone. Missing inside a warp train. It hasn't even arrived at its destination yet. I knew there was something off with this device. I told you it can't be possible for any technology to be this convenient. Don't put the blame on the device. It's not broken. It's still working. See? Something must have happened inside the train. Maybe there was a problem with the singularity. Or maybe they noticed the device and rigged it. It's not so easily manipulatable. Manipulable? Huh. Manipulable. And they huh. definitely weren't capable of doing that. You never know. It could be W Corp sending a jamming signal to prevent its singularity from being leaked. And the Kane office hadn't made any preliminary research before giving us this request. This is driving me crazy. We're doing this sham job for 200 million on. Stop whining, will you? It could have something to do with this. This thing has has the books of the Muller office listed on it like it knows what we're doing. That can't be. Not even a minute has passed since they disappeared. The, the library. library. Oh, is it Wait. is it Alok there? Oh, uh, yeah. Alok oh, and Bono. Alok is Dalok. Oh, and then Bono. Is, is there a reason why Alok and Dalok have such similar names? Uh, They both... They both have ocular senses. They might senses. be siblings. Hmm. Hence why they both kind of have the multi-camera eyes as opposed to Doc Ock here. <laughs> yeah, I heard of it. All the fixers and syndicates have been talking about it these days. So what's the plan? Are we going to head to that bizarre place? We don't have any other way. Even if 200 million on is on the line, I don't want to risk my life. Going there won't guarantee success either. We might be able to see what happened on the train if we read their books. Uh, I just hope things don't get screwed even further. There really are people trying to investigate singularities. Duh, of course. It can bring tremendous amounts of money. I'm pretty sure Elcor put a lot of effort into keeping its singularity secrets too. The eco-friendly energy company, founded after, after the smoke war, we were freed from that suffocating smoke thanks to your corporation. Didn't I tell you already? All I did was recite the script, trapped underground. Nose started running. <laughs> Can a singularity be stolen if its secrets are exposed? Nah, that's not how it works. Those guys are probably looking for some clues about how the singularity functions so they can sell that info to another wing or a big syndicate. After that, the party with the secrets will use that to extort money and stuff from the wing. Singularities are patented, so it's too risky to just use them if you know how to make them work. Especially since those patents are all managed by the head. It's all about money in the end. Anyway, I'm kind of curious about what happened to the warp train. You did it again. Oh, sorry. Was I too fast? Yes. Sorry. Let us receive our guests first. The first is this first. I meant to have it punctuated with a T, but it ended, it ended up as an S. Ah. 
I can't seem to make, a clear, make clear observations of this place either. The result can be seen, but not the process. It's just like the distortion, the talk of the town lately. What a bother. Greetings, dear guests. How did you get the book of the Molar office? It was supposed to be in the warp train for only a few seconds. Well, how did we do it, I wonder? Unraveling the secrets of the library must come with a heavy price, like how digging into the principles of singularities is a laborious affair, no? That was a stupid question from us. I have no idea what's going on. The library and its books are just as mysterious as the singularities, then, let, then hopefully they're worth just as much. May you find your book in this place. Biz, biz. At the start of the act, inflict one para paralysis to three random enemies. So they do a lot of paralysis. So they are weak to piercing, somewhat slashing, and blunt. Hey, muscle squad. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because I don't think we want any of these. Where is Gong Mi? Equip Did you get any of the pages from the carnival? Did you actually do the process of recycling their books or burning them? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, here are the carnival pages. If an ally has died, gain two strength at the start of each scene. It's kind of an okay system. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't get the extra speed dice, which is sometimes yeah. kind of okay. just okay. Um, their pages are going to be really good for the bleed squad, but I think I'm just going to punch these guys really hard. If I can. Mm-hmm. Whee! Okay, so they only have one speed die. Oh, and they roll low numbers. Maybe. Lower this page cost by one, up to two times. On hit, one paralysis next. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the art level. Looks still awfully organic. Okay, I might be able to do a shocking blow and actually parry them. Or not, doesn't really matter. So he's doing a lot of little attacks. All the floors have the same melody, but they're handling them in different ways with different instruments, different grooves. Oh yeah, this is the one of the first times we've used Netzack. Mm-hmm. Well, I think this might actually be the first time we've used Netsack for a regular fight, because previously it was just fighting Abnormalities, which has di its own music. Yep, which is why I was commenting on the background. Okay. There's still all the weird Kudama spirits everywhere, too. Yeah, it's still that theme. Oh, which is the one that is... This is the one that is... Wait. They're weak to... Crush. outspeed them. You know what? This is probably fine. I see. So paralysis lowers my maximum value. Ow. Should be fine. Hmm. Not as much damage as I wanted, but... Okay, so let's do a loosen up first. And then a brawl. Oh, they all have two die. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because they're all using um, Gong Mi's setup. Mm hmm. Okay. Just aiming at me. Okay, so what's he doing? Not much, not that helpful. Oh, and I can't do anything else. That's mm, maybe not the most fine. 
but maybe it's okay. All right. And yeah, they don't do that much damage to me, so I can kind of just tank it and just disregard. Ow, that's some big numbers. Mm. There we go. I was hoping to stun her down, but here she goes. Well, punching. Pretty effective. It's there. uh, it's kind of a weird hack build, and I'm not actually sure if it's that good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Right. At some point, I'll have to switch these characters over to using um, Pierce, because I think they're slightly better at it. Mm. Okay. Should be good. Brawl can't do anything else. And who needs to go down? Probably them. Yeah, big damage. Go down. It's kind of a goofy build and kind of cheesy, but it's so fun to watch it when it actually like pops off because you just lock an enemy down and they can do nothing about it. All right, anyway. That is a sad quote from the Dalok one. My side is choppy, something must be wrong with my cam, like camera. Yeah. Because if you have a robotic body, would you even be aware of the damage you're sustaining? Probably a little bit, but... Because with humans, obviously we have pain. Yeah. I, I try not to think about this too deeply as to what we're doing. And maybe it's one of those that we free the people from the books when we're done. Like, yeah. done done with the game. Or maybe some of them. But who knows? I'm, again, we're the bad guys and I don't want to think too hard about that. L Corp produce clean energy. W Corp operates fast and surefire transportation. What do you think R Corp singularity is? I bet it's something that pumps out efficient killing machines. Don't you know more about it since you used R Corp services? As I've said multiple times before, such details are beyond my knowledge. I had little interest in finding out back then. Still, from what I observed of them, considering the amount of their rabbits and the combat power of each unit, you're probably correct. They were not exceptionally strong, but they did a fine job at grazing the grass inside the facility. I wonder what the principle behind it is. Hell if I know. I'm not an executive of R Corp or anything. Every wing keeps its singularity under tight wraps. Take the distortion and abnormalities, for instance. Only the results are seen, and not the process. The same goal, same goes for the other singularities. So everyone simply consumes the end results without knowing the process. Ooh, I... Yep. Yep. I like that. It's easier on the mind that way. There's no point in asking questions about technology unless they encounter problems with it. People just spend money and get its worth. There's no real reason for questioning how things work. Uh... Mm -hmm. I recently found out that uh, Quaker oatmeal has uh, kind of a growth hormone in it that can mess with, uh, like, fertility? Question mark? It, like, uh. it, like messes with um, either your ability to have kids or sperm counts or something. Like, I, I don't remember what it is, and I don't know how, like, founded it is. But it's like, yeah, I actually kind of want to know what I'm eating because, oh uh, yeah, boy. Yeah. I'd hate to get like turbo cancer later on because I was just thoughtlessly eating oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Well, which is why we're getting a different brand of oatmeal yeah. entirely now. I mean, Bob's Red Mill has always been better anyway, so easy but enough switch. It's one of those things where it is sad that as a society, everything has been rushing towards efficiency. And then, of course, there's kind of globalization and outsourcing and other things. But what it's doing is it's removing the process and removing the workers and the labor further and further away from the products and also being beneficiaries of the sale of those products. So way back in the day, you had artisans making and crafting things and people would deal directly with them, form relationships with them. So you I knew mean, exactly which farm your food was coming from. You knew who wove your fabric and 
uh, yeah, just skilled people, and there was respect for those skills. But now with a combination of automation and yeah, the work being outsourced elsewhere, you're having all of these people running machines or working in sweatshops, and there's little dignity in that. And people just are like, oh, you know, I can get a shirt for $5. I don't care where it's from. I don't know what it's made out of. And these people, these clothes that are being made, they're being made with poor regulations overseeing the workplaces. And the people that are actually making these things, they're getting pennies, if even, for, for their labor. Yep. And it works for at least in the United States because oh you know a dollar in US dollars is probably a lot more than in other countries so the companies are paying very very little for the labor that goes into these products that they're then selling at an immense markup and they're not even necessarily high quality products because what was it it was like the whole, I mean, obviously there's obsolescence and whatnot. Yeah, forced obsolescence. Forced obsolescence, but people figure that they would rather sell you more products that are of worse quality that will wear down faster than they do about providing you with one very good. Well, there um, was the other thing recently. I, I don't remember thing. who it was, um, but it was talking about how is curing patients a sustainable business model was mm. the quote or something to that extent. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I, I think it was uh, maybe it was like a pharmaceutical executive. company executive. Yeah. Uh, so they were, I think they were conducting some kind of symposium or a, a group event, and they posed that question. It was like, eh. Anyway, we should keep going. Mm-hmm. It's just that yeah, people don't care about where things come from, which is why. And I think people should, probably should. Well, the thing is, a lot of companies are only supposed to say what is necessary but i think the government needs to be better about disclosures and labeling well, oh yeah speaking of i guess but one then other... also it, it's disclosures and laboring uh, labeling doesn't matter when people are going just going to buy the cheapest thing somewhat but like uh there's another thing recently uh we were we've been kind of sus of trader joe's recently i used to love you know buying stuff from them but uh i think they were like trying to get rid of uh, labor protections and it's like wait why is this like supposedly wholesome store doing this that's not all right and then we're looking into it further and it turns out like most of the trader joe's brand stuff is just made by other big food corporations well pretty much whenever you go to a grocer and they slap their own name onto a product that they didn't make you realize that they are essentially just getting the major corporations that already make those goods and they're making a brand labeled version of them that they can slap their name on and charge a cheaper price for yep so, for instance, there was a salsa that I absolutely loved called Jack Salsa, and it just disappeared from our local grocery store. But suspiciously, the local grocery store's own brand got plastered on it. It tastes exactly the same, feels exactly the same. It even comes in the same container. There's just a different sticker on it. And I go, hey, whatever happened to the original company and yeah, i'm starting and i i don't think it's a situation where the recipe was somehow stolen and made perfectly i think it might be a situation where the grocer um grocery store approached them and said hey can we slap our label on it but yeah it's and there aren't many disclosures in many industries yeah. but we should continue but yeah yep. People should actually take a look into what goes into the things they're consuming. Okay. Wasn't it the same with L Corp? You're right. It was the same. All we needed was the result. It didn't matter how many were sacrificed in the process. See, the other wings aren't going to be any different from that. Oh, hey, Melketh. Fairy festival. A fairy festival? Okay. Did I have them set up? Oh, this is kind of the clash build. Is that what we want? Unwinning of clash, bonus stagger damage. Oh, is this going to be another creature? Yeah. Mm. Clash and 
burn. I suppose you don't know what would be effective against fairies. You're just going to go into it. Yeah. Because hmm. I haven't exactly adjusted these in a while. So. <laughs> I mean, you did equip them with... Oh, no, you're right. You still have some of the earlier groups. Yeah, yeah, these... I haven't I haven't touched this team in quite some time, so it's like because there was Lulu, just a burn on a successful attack, which is like actually kind of good. The main problem is I've been enjoying those extra speed die because that lets me sneak in some extra free hits here and there. Let's. Oh right, I forgot I changed Piper so they'd look like this always. I think they are. We already kind of have the fire bat build, sort of going for this team. Combat pages. Okay, get rid of that. Well, do we want to just do? It's both clash and burn. I'm not seeing clash as an option though. I guess I could search for it. Uh, burn. Oh, there's like. Almost mm. no burn. Mm -hmm. We have all of them. Uh, let's see. And she's got gut harvesting, which is maybe fine. No. No, we don't need her to do like a bleed build. Uh, let's just toss all of this. On clash win. Yeah, these are fine. Okay. Why are you doing all burn? Because uh, the match girl boosts burn to some degree. Oh. I don't... Oh, so you're building to the creatures on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Let's do on Clash Win. What do we have? Boost next die. Clash Win to damage to the opponent. And she gets extra die. At the end of each scene, restore one light and draw a page if the hand is empty. Oh, so they're kind of good at discard, too. So maybe we consider that. On use, discard all pages. Oh, well, that's an option. Maybe we'll have her do something slightly different. Let's see. Draw a page upon discarding this page. Uh, let's see. was a unicorn page because there's weight up which is on use restore one light because she gets an extra speed die do I want this that one's tough so what was the um what was the discard one Oh, but no. Restore one light and draw a page if the hand is empty. Let's just save this for now. This should be fine. Maybe. Oh. That's... Those are fairies. Those are, in fact, fairies. Oh, boy. A long while. Okay. So, give prepared meat status to an ally. So, they are weak to kind of everything, but especially piercing. Unless I'm reading that wrong. Can you cover, um, can you gloss over the quotes on the bottom so I can okay. read all the ones that keep floating around? Only soft and tender meat can fill this empty stomach. Huh. It's gotten skinny now. It used to follow me around and care for me. Still thought I was doing that. I wouldn't used to keep its food fresh by caring for them. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wait. So these librarians actually were the, the, um, characters in... Fairy tales? No, no, these are the characters in Lobotomy Corporation, so they remember the fairy festival. Wait, oh. Yeah. Okay, so. If an ally with prepared meat status has one HP, consume it at the start of the scene, gain 10 fragile, feeble. Feeble disarm, okay. HP goes down 25% or lower, kill all allies, gain 30 strength. Oof. Only few fairies protect me now. Gentle with my fairies, they are precious beings. Okay, so what are they doing? I want meat unspoiled and clean. Okay, I'm not going to be able to stop all of them. Can 
I only have some. Eat the hit. Eat the hit. Just bully that guy. It is interesting how fairies have been morphed in popular culture to be pretty and angelic and playful. When in fact, in many of the old stories, they're mischievous, but in the malevolent way, leading people off astray in forest paths yep. and consuming them. Ooh. Wow, okay. Those fairies aren't very strong. It's actually kind of small nice. Minions. I really like the design of the big fairy. It, yeah, it's unsettling. Okay, combat page, the high cost in the hand is chosen. Excludes on play pages. Using pages with the same name will decrease the cost of every copy of that page. Currently owns by one, so that's actually really good. Home winning a clash, bonus stagger damage equal to dice value at 20% chance. Uh, let's go for that one, put it on her. Because she's going to be doing some clashes. Uh, though I only have one. Okay, so they're attacking me. Ooh. That's... That's some big numbers. Okay. Be thankful that you're under my careful care. Wait, wait, what was the last word? I couldn't tell. Sorry. Enjoy the fairy's care to your heart's content. I thought she was going to eat some of her minions at this point. Mm. Alright. Going to hurt a bit. Okay. On hit, 1 to 3 burn to the attacker, gain a buff, chance, offensive die, gain 1 burn on hit. So that's kind of good. Otherwise, combat page that gets cheaper, or... Let's go for ashes. Okay, I think it just ate one of them, which mm. makes it disarm. So decrease the power of defensive die makes it. Yeah, so that makes the queen pretty weak for a round. My fairies are dwindling in numbers. I need them to serve. Okay. I think I can interrupt these. I must eat it before it spoils. Is that not going to work? You set fire to that one. There we go. I don't think I can interrupt. Maybe I should just be hitting her. Okay, I've got this second one. I think I'm just going to hit her again. Okay, that one's Dude, down. All the squelching. Yeah, it is a little gross. Okay, so the the little fairies heal. Mm. That one's broken though, which is good. They're all aiming for her. Unless I can co-opt this. Going for a big heal. Going for a couple of things. Uh, let's see. Fleet footsteps. Yeah, do we have a single good clash die? Nope. All right. Probably just try and take that over here. Hmm. And they're doing three. So if I do that, that's some extra burn. Oh, what is this? Prepare meat. One HP that will be consumed by the fairy queen. I just realized it doesn't have another hind leg. It really is just a singular point. Yeah. And then it has two arms it supports itself on. And then two extra arms in the middle for grabbing and probably feeding things into its mouth. Well, that didn't work. But I didn't expect it to. Okay, footfalls. Librarian's HP is 20% or lower. 30% of the target's max HP is damage and burn. 
on approaching them, then die. Oh, is that the match girl or something else? Uh, oh, the scor scorched child. Yeah, yeah, so all of my characters are now uh, bombs, effectively. Uh oh. Okay, what do we have? I don't think that's even going to work, even if I use it, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. We have Flaming Bat. Probably just Flaming Bat. What do we have? Daring Decision and Gamble. That should be fine. That's a lot of damage. Do we need it? Could I take... Yeah, if I do a Gamble, I'll probably just take it out. Then I can do a Daring Decision. Dodge it all. Give it a smack. Yeah, it's done. I don't know if the queen's going to eat it immediately. Or if that'll be next turn. Mm. Queen's decree. Ouch. Okay. Uh, is that the... Yeah, she did eat one. Yep, which actually works really well for me. So even though this character is currently staggered, the queen is not aiming for her. Okay. Now we just want to aim for the queen. And do we just keep aiming for the queen? Yeah. Because if we can stun her, we're in a very good spot. Okay. Oh, boy. We did a ton of damage. She's Ooh. gone. Dang, that's that was effective. It. And now there is the one, Wait. the one lad. Oh, so it isn't a situation where the boss is gone. Therefore, okay. I'm just going to beat it up. I don't even care about my effectiveness here. It's just a matter of carnage. There it goes. Italy, it's pretty well. Last. And now we should have four on this team. Good work, everyone. Cheerful as always, Malkith. What are you up to? Oh, hi, Roland. I was just having a training session with the assistant librarian. Seems lively. Guess you're good friends with each other. And they were my employees back in Lobotomy Corp. Back then, I could only assist them from the back seat rather than on the field. It's nice to be able to work alongside them this time around. Four more co-workers from Lobotomy Corp, huh? Must be refreshing. It sure is. I used to push them too hard because of my faulty mindset. But it'll be different this time. We'll start with things that we can do one at a time. Face the past and build the future. I like this quote. I feel like it, it, it feels like a good way to summarize the essence of history. It's similar to something that I would hear before too. You ain't wrong, but there aren't too many people who can actually learn from history these days. Lessons seem obvious, but putting them into action is the hard part. Hmm. Yeah, and I suppose the whole, like, cycle repeating again and again. Yep. Of things, and you go, oh, yeah, you know, we well, need to stop all of these things that are entrenched I th I firmly. Think... But, oh, nope, now they're too firmly entrenched. Because back in the day, that, that was one thing. Um... So I've been reading a bit about the Ludites yeah. and such and how back in the day, their means to protest against automation and corporate, uh, essentially uh, them and their fellow co-workers being exploited was that they could actually... Boycotts, I think, were in part effective, but then there was also the destruction of the machinery and other things like that. Not to say that people should go into server rooms and destroy, uh, the you know, the mega tech corpse databases of knowledge or whatnot and all the Some things that they're illegally collecting. I, I think that that's something that the FTC and the government should do, but... If I stole that amount of data, I'd be in prison or <laughs> sued to oblivion. 
Oh, right, right. No, they they work. They function on a completely different level, and it's difficult for governments to hold them accountable when they're being paid off by the corporations. The other thing I was gonna bring up is this quote. Uh, this reminds me of a quote that I'm gonna badly paraphrase. Paraphrase, but it's like, hard times breed strong people. Strong people bring breed good times. Good times breed weak people. Weak people breed uh, bring about bad times. And it's kind of like a three-way cycle. Well, I I have a feeling that we are at a breaking point. Yeah, that kind people of. are starting to realize the ways in which they're being exploited by companies and it depends on where you're at, but in the US, I mean, seeing all the strikes in the last couple of years has been nice. Yeah. But is it enough? Yeah, that's the thing. Unless there's actually This video is going to age interestingly and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Mhm. Mm Either way. Okay. I've been thinking about the past a lot. I was a person called Elijah. Is that your first life? Yep. Born in the nest as an extraordinary citizen. Ordinary. Oh, sorry. Uh, ordinary. Oops. Ordinary citizen. Went to an ordinary school. I wasn't anyone special. I wasn't richer than most people, and I didn't really have a special talent in any field. The people in the nest where Elijah lived, they all seemed to have lost focus in their life. Spacing out and staring into empty places. Or into their smartphones. Constantly. <clears throat> anyway, everyone only saw black and white things. Isn't the nest full of shiny and bright arrays of colors? It's almost an eyesore sometimes. That's true, but those other colors weren't necessary for reading. There's always too many black and white things for the eyes to take. It's no use seeing other useless colors. Huh. I guess Elijah could see those colors then. Not exactly, but she tried hard to see them. The colors were still there, just not for our eyes. Elijah wanted to let others know about how diverse and brilliant colors are. About how colors are ever changing and free form, like how they mix the how a mix of two colors can bring about a brand new color. That's what Elijah thought, I think. You sound like you're talking about someone else, third person. To be honest, I don't really feel like Elijah and I are one of the same. Maybe too much time has passed since then. The other librarians probably feel the same way. My current life feels more like an extension of that life as Malkuth from Lobotomy Corporation, rather. My time as Elijah feels kind of distant and unfamiliar, even though it was my first life. It's like the memories of someone from a distant past are now part of me, if you know what I mean. It's nostalgic in a way, and a bit sad and stuff. I don't know a whole lot about that reincarnation jazz, but I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel so bad. It feels good to finally have the time to reflect on myself. Looking back at the lives I lived, and the history I made, I think we didn't spend enough time looking back. We were all too busy heading forward. And the same goes for Angela, maybe. No one has the time to look back. Even now, I'm running straight ahead. But still, looking back at the past can supposedly give the solution for troubles of the present or worries about the future. I think that's correct. Although, I'm not sure I can find the solution for the problems we're facing right now. I think I'm getting close to finding the answer for what Angela said to me before. About who you were and how you wanted to live? Mm-hmm. I didn't really have what I would call a dream at that time. But things are different now. If I were to dream of what I'd do after this, I think I would have wanted to be an architect, maybe. You know, the person who designs buildings and oversees the process of construction until it's finished. Huh. Guess great empires weren't built in a day. Of course it wasn't. You have to start with designing the most beautiful exterior that can be created within the functional limitations. That sounds complicated. Did you know, Roland? There's a phrase. We shape our buildings, therefore they shape us. They're after. No, oh, they're after they shape us. Oh, okay. It, it is true that yeah. the things we create influences our perception of other things 
And I mean, buildings are really important. They're what house our workspaces, our homes, our way of life. My high school was a prison. Was it a prison? Yep. Before it was a school? Nope. It was made by a prison architect who made exactly two schools and otherwise made prisons. And so his schools were prisons. Uh, there were two functional windows in the entire building, almost no natural light, and the whole place was just cramped and uncomfortable. It wasn't fun. One of my schools was an experimental school with no walls. Yeah, and now you're very good at tuning me out mid-conversation. Yeah, it's because when you have five classrooms in one room, and sure, teachers tried as they may to separate the rooms with shelving and wardrobes and things like that, you could hear other classes taking you know, part in their own instructions. What was really annoying was when you were taking a test and there was a movie going on in the next classroom. Oh, yeah. So you knew other kids were able to chill. But it did mean that if you finished your test early, you could watch part of the movie. Usually it would be, you know, Bill Nye or Reading Rainbow or some historical thing. But you know yep. what I mean. Uh and no, it wasn't like there were no walls at all. It's not like we were outside. There were walls on the exterior and for hallways and for the cafeteria and the library and the computer rooms it and the trying... offices and other things. But it was just the classrooms. Yep. Seems like a mistake to me. <laughs> it may be too late to change the people who we've lived so far. Oh, who've lived so far. But what influence will the structures of the city have on future residents as they grow up? If I were to make a building with colors that'll be remembered by everyone, those are the thoughts I had. I'm sure you'll do a... Ah, that was a whistle. I'm sure you'll do a great job if you get the chance, Malkuth. Malkuth? Yeah. Sounds like the job would fit you well, too. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe you should reflect on your past like I did, Roland. It'll be a helpful exercise. My Except I, I don't think she's aware of what he told Angela, though. Nope. My eyes are always fixed on the past. Anyway, I hope you can realize the dream of becoming an architect. Okay, Fairy's Care. Uh, let's see, when attacking a target who already took damage in the same scene, deal extra damage, recover HP. For three scenes, recover HP. At the end of the scene, if the librarian is hit three times while the effect is active, lose 25% of current HP. And all allies except the selected librarian lose 10 HP. The librarian recovers as much HP as the others lost from this effect. Gains three strength and haste this scene. Wait, wait. His stomach and face were ripped off and his eyeballs and organs were damaged as if they were eaten by something. Meanwhile, the fairies had someone's blood and flesh smeared all over their mouths. Oh, so it's just talking about... Oh, they protect our employees. Oh, so they're really just protecting people until they're ready to eat them. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, so they'd follow you around, giving you a short, bu like a buff for a little while. But if the fairy was like on your your character, mm -hmm. um, and you went to go work elsewhere, they'd instantly kill them. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it worked. They were pretty easy to work with. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we've got four, so I guess we we're gonna be working with this group. I might switch away from the burn builds just because, but I think I'll do that later. Let's take a look at the invitations. Oh, uh, do we want to follow up on this one? Which one was this? Oh, I, it was this the, is the Alec, Alec, and, Alec and Olga. Why do they have Olga? Oh, because they were following Olga's lead. Yeah. Oh, did I not burn those? Looks like you did not. Oh, so they're called the gaze office. Yeah, because I never burned these ones. I don't know if I'll use their cards that much. There's a lot of like paralysis, which actually is quite good. Card's pretty though. Give credit where credit is due. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you know what? Actually, we should leave this for the next episode. Mm. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I might as well take a look at some of these other ones. So yeah, it's gonna be a little while before General Works expands to four. Oh, wait. Obtain the Book of the Carnival. What's... Yeah, we already got that one, though. So Obtain the Book of... So we might s slowly go through yeah. our new invitations and find the books that are those question marks. Yep. 
But for now, at least, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.